today we will uh, interface LED and switch using node MCU ESP8266. Uh, to do this experiment, we need a node MCU ESP8266 and 1 kilo ohm resistor, jumper wires, LED, push button, breadboard and to write the program we need Arduino ID software. So these are jumper wires, this is 1 kilo ohm resistor, this is push button, LED, this is node MCU, node MCU, breadboard and the USB cable. Now I will explain the circuit diagram. This is our node MCU. In this node MCU, we are using two pins, digital pins D2 and D3. So between D3 and ground, the LED is connected. Anode of LED is connected to D3 and cathode of LED is connected to ground. This is a push button. So the push button has got four legs, four legs. So these two legs are, will have the same connection and the other two legs will have the same connection. So one of the leg on the other side, it is connected to the three volts supply pin of A266. That is node MCU supply pin. Then the other side of the push button, one end is connected to the D2 pin. We are making the switch as an input. Uh, input uh, uh, we, uh, we, we, we are making uh, switch as an input device. So we are using a D2 pin as an input pin. The other end of the same line here. This leg and exactly opposite to this leg. This leg of push button is connected to 1 kilo ohm resistor. And from 1 kilo ohm resistor, the other end goes to ground. So this is the circuit of interfacing of uh, LED uh, switch using node MCU. So when we press the switch, LED glows. When we leave, LED will be turned off. So what is the program for this? So there is a wide setup initially. This is the setup function which is executed only once when the Arduino board starts up. And it is used to initialize the pin modes and other initialization configurations. So initialization is done within this setup function. The pin mode uh, D3 comma output and pin, mo uh, pin mode D2 comma input. So the pin mode D2 comma input this line sets the pin D2 as an input pin. It means you can read the digital signal that is high or low from this pin. So for reading purpose, the D2 pin is used. Pin mode D3 comma output. This line sets the pin D3 as output pin. So it means you can write a digital signal high or low to this pin. So for writing, the D3 pin is made as output. For reading, the D2 pin is made as input. So this is all about wide setup. Then wide loop. The wide loop is the main loop function. It runs continuously uh, after the setup function, the setup function has completed. After this has completed, this loop runs continuously. If D3 
डिस्टल रीड डी टू इज इक्वल टू इज इक्वल टू है दिस लाइन चेक्स इफ द डिस्टल सिग्नल रीड फ्रॉम पिन नंबर डी टू इज है इफ इट इज है इट मीन्स दैट देर इज अ हाई वोल्टेज और अ लॉजिक वन ऑन दिस पिन In that case, if it is true, if it is high, then distal right D three comma high. So, if the condition in the above if statement is true, that is G two is high, this line will set the D three to high. It means a high voltage or a logic one will be the output on pin number D. so in that case led will be turned on else if the condition in the uh, statement above statement is false that is instead of high if it becomes a low the code inside the else block will be executed so what is there after the else that is executed so what is there after the else Distal right, D three comma low. So in this, in the else block, this line sets the pin D three to low. It means that low voltage or a logic zero will be the output on pin number D three. Now we will do the connection. So according to the diagram, first we'll insert a push button. so push button should be connected two legs on one side of the partition and the other two legs on the other side of the partition in this way you should connect so here this leg and this leg these two legs have the same connection these two legs have the same connection next in the circuit one leg is connected to 3 volts okay so take one jumper wire connect one leg one leg jumper wire is connected to one leg and other end of the leg is connected to 3 volts 3 volts of node mc this is a 3 volt pin here here we should connect now uh, other end of the uh, leg of one uh, push button it is connected to the ground through one resistor so one end of the resistor go to switch other end of the resistor goes to ground let us connect that here i am taking see one end is connect one end of the resistor is going to one leg of the push button and other end it is going to ground pin the this line i am making as a ground pin this pin i am making as a ground pin this point next from the same switch take one jumper wire and connect to D two pin. Uh, so one jumper wire is taken from the other end of the switch, and it is connected to D two pin. This is our D two pin. Third pin D zero D one D two. It is connected to D two. Next is connect one LED between D three and a ground. Now. LED is connected between ground, so this is my ground pin, and the anode is connected to anode is connected to ground. So this is our ground pin. So D zero, D one, D two, D three, D four. After three volts, there is a ground pin. Now connect. 
the USB cable between your node MCU and laptop. So USB is USB cable is connected between node MCU and laptop. Now click on Arduino ID software. Click on file. Click on new sketch and type the program whatever I explained just now. After typing the program, go to tools, select the board, node MCU 1.0 ESP 12E model and select the port. Here my, my node MCU is connected to COM5. So I select COM5. Now you press the upload button it starts uploading you wait till the 100% uploading is done once it shows 100% the uploading is done completely so after uploading now we'll check the output when I press the switch button LED close. When I leave, LED off. When I press, LED on. In this way, with the help of switch button, we can control the LED. So, thank you for watching this video.